Hey guys, well, uh, welcome to my fourth video in the complication series. If you haven't seen videos one to three, you should go and see them now because the story won't make any sense now um, unless you go and watch those videos. So in my last video, um, the surgeon, oh sorry, I had um, all my scans done and um, I go back to my room and my surgeon tells me that he is taking the advice from one of his other surgeons that he has talked to and um, that other surgeon advised him to just wait it out for a little while and um, see what happened because the pus is reducing in my bag pardon me so at this point um, for the oh sorry for the next few days I, I'm struggling to remain positive sorry I've missed, a, I've missed the point um, the scans do not show any sign of leakage um, from the bowel or colon and um, the surgeon surprises me by saying there's no need for the colostomy bag he sees that the pus is reducing and uh, everything's being okay I knew there was a, a break there so for the next um, few days there is a struggle to remain positive um, I moved rooms constantly throughout my hospital stay um, I was looking for a single room where it was just me in the room um, or at least until I could get a single room I was trying to get a room with a person who isn't contagious I had, um, I had one male who was very 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 sick and um, he was taken away the next day and he was replaced by another man who was very 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 sick so um, they moved me a few times um, I felt better when I realized that it's only an abscess and it's not stomach or liver cancer like two of my past roommates have had um, one of them was he was only 22 so um, you know while I felt pretty bad I did see a lot of really sick people around me and um, you know that, that sort of you know that didn't it, it sort of it made me realize that you know I'm going to recover from this but there are a lot of people in here that may not recover from their problems um, and I then eventually got a single room and um, while I was in there I was just waiting for the drain to equal about 50 mil per day before I could go home uh, as I said in my other videos 30 mils um, the surgeon came in we were under the influence and it was 30 mils for quite some time and um, the surgeon came in and we said what does it really need to be does it need to be 30 mils for the whole day because at this point uh, they're emptying about 90 mils a day and he said oh yeah you know about 30 to 50 mils that, that's his sort of attitude very very light and he said you know the first the first 20 to 30 mils and he said that's just that's just what you what you drain and then you only want an extra 20 mils or 30 mils on top of that so he said uh, I really want it to be 50 mils before we let you go so we're looking at um, 50 mils and I'm praying that I will be um, better before the a holiday cruise and um, if you if you saw one of my third video um, it talks a little bit about a cruise that my family are going on we don't we only get together every second year but um, we're all getting together on a cruise and it goes around to a couple of islands and it comes back and I was talking about the fact that I could actually possibly be light enough to go abseiling on that cruise um, but at this point it's getting really really close to the cruise date and um, it's the pus isn't going down fast enough and the surgeon is sort of a little bit worried and he said let's wait and see so um, one night so, so my parents are talking about you know having to sell my ticket and things like that you know just in case because it's all up in the air um, one night um, I'm starting to feel sick as I'm falling asleep um, at this point I'm having antibiotics by tablet and you have a tablet in the morning and night and um, pretty much um, at the nighttime tablet after, as soon as I take that tablet that was it for me that, I, it was 8 p.m. so 8 p.m. <laughs> was bedtime so um, I took my tablet and um, I started feeling sick but it's a giant tablet so I felt a little bit of nausea after taking each, each tablet anyway so I didn't really worry about too much so I got up to disconnect the 
the IV machines, I guess you call them, to monitor uh, the, the saline and antibiotics pumping into my IV through the bags to make sure there's no bubbles and things like that. Um, and you just unplug them from the wall and they run off battery. So I got up and I disconnected the IV machines from the power point and I made it about halfway to the, to the toilet before I suddenly vomited all over the floor. And um, at this point the room is completely dark except for the open door at the other side of the room and that open door has got a little bit of light coming in. So I just thought I was just throwing up normally and um, I threw up all the way to the toilet. I know it's a bit disgusting, but I threw up all the way to the toilet where I was able to turn the light on and reach the sink and realized that I was throwing up blood and I'm very alarmed at this. I don't like blood at all. I don't like to see blood in my stool or anything, but throwing up blood is it really alarmed me. Um, there's a, a button that you can press that alerts the nurse that you require attention uh, and there's also one in the bathroom and I pressed both but I realized that it was, was going to take about a minute to two minutes for the nurses to come so I um, actually wheeled to the door and I started screaming <laughs> I started screaming for a nurse any nurse, it didn't matter which nurse whether it was my nurse or someone else's nurses I needed a nurse now and um, the nurse came in um, pretty quick. I had to stand there for about a minute screaming for her anyone came. But um, she came in and she cleaned it up and she was very calm about it all and she called the doctor and also phoned my surgeon. And uh, my surgeon being in his surgeon ways pretty much said in a very calm voice to the nurse that um, he's not alarmed in the slightest, it's totally fine, it's totally expected. He didn't tell me it was expected to throw out blood but um, that calmed me down a bit. The doctor came in and he ordered a, another blood test. <laughs> I'm not big on needles and I'm not big on blood, so another blood test was not great. And um, they did a lot of blood tests after they found out that I was throwing up blood. And um, I didn't see what I threw up on the floor, but when I threw up in the sink it was basically liquid blood. Um, and I. I told my dad the next day that I still felt a little bit sick, so uh, it's very possible that I was going to throw up a little bit more blood. And at that point, I'm afraid we've hit our time limit, so um, that's the end of video four, I think it is. So if you guys um, could share my YouTube link with all your friends and get them to subscribe, hopefully we can get this information out to as many people as possible. So I'm um, tuning in for the next video because the story continues. And um, thank you for watching.